Hi, welcome to the Special Orders and Book Log video. In this video, we will take you through the life cycle of a special order and give you some tips on how to process special orders simply and efficiently in Book Log. Along the way, we'll point out best practices for each process and show you where some customers have had problems in the past. In order to get started with special orders in Booklog, you'll first need to make some decisions about the program. While you're setting things up, ask yourself these questions. Will I require deposits for special orders? How much? Will the special orders expire? Do I want to email customers with special order notifications? Next, we'll go over each of these features in more detail. Now that you've taken these questions into consideration, you can implement them in the Booklog store settings. In Booklog, go to Maintenance, then Store, then click on the SOMO tab. If customers don't always pick up the orders they place with you, you may want to require a deposit. Deposits can be full prepayments or just a percentage of the price of the book. Just type the percentage you'd like to require for your deposits. 100% is a full prepayment. If you would prefer not to require a deposit, simply leave the default at zero. Booklog can print a shelf tag for your special orders, also known as a hold tag. These print from your receipt printer to be inserted inside a book cover to remind staff that these items are on hold. If you would like to notify customers who haven't picked up their orders, you can set reminders for yourself. Ensure that the first checkbox is checked here. Just select your username from the Booklog User to Notify drop-down menu. If you'd like to automatically send email notifications to customers with expiring special orders, check this box. Now let's talk about Booklog's email capabilities. Click Paste Sample Template to see an example of a notification email. This can be edited to your preferences. Each item highlighted in blue is a variable from the Available Fields window to the right. These will be automatically populated with personalized information from your Booklog database. To use these variables, drag the item you want from the right side to the text on the left. Be sure to save after you're done creating your template. Email notifications in Booklog only work if you have your SMTP account information entered. Click on the SMTP tab. The information for your store's email account goes here. Once you enter this, Booklog can use your store's email account to send notifications to customers. This works for special order notifications and lots of other features in Booklog, like campaign management. Now that we've done our initial setup, we can talk about taking special orders. There are two ways to create a special order, through the cash register window or through the sales menu. The register is probably the most convenient way to take special orders. Through the cash register window, customers can purchase items, place special orders, and pay their deposit, all in one transaction. Before taking a special order through the cash register, you'll need to enter the customer's name. If the customer is not already in your records, you'll need to enter their info. Next, add the special order by going to the Edit menu and selecting Add Special Order, or hit Alt F2 on the keyboard. Be sure to take the customer's email address. Without the email address, you won't be able to notify them by email when their order comes in or is due to expire.
Enter or paste the ISBN of the item they would like to order. Enter the ISBN or title of the special order item. This can be copied from a publisher website or iPage. If you have an auto-importing interface for Booklog, title info can be pulled automatically from a distributor database. Be sure to use your own codes for category, publisher, and vendor. In Lasso, you can search for items by title, author, keyword, or other book data. Once you've found your title, you can import it into your inventory. To import, enter a 1 in the order column, even if you're not ordering the item yet. Don't forget to update the category, publisher, and vendor codes with your own codes. Then click Import. You will be able to take a deposit even if you don't already have a default deposit percentage specified. Be sure not to overorder for the customer. Then you will process the order just like you would in the cash register. You can give the customer a discount just like the cash register. Only enter the quantity that the customer plans to buy. If you think this might look good on your shelves, order this title separately. This is the customer's order, not a stock order. Now you will process the sale. You can print special order tags to the receipt printer. Once you process the special order, the deposit will be displayed in the cash register, just like a regular item. You can pull special orders into a purchase order. This will link your special order to the purchase order and allow you to track the progress of your customer's order. Click the special order icon and double click the open special order you want to order from the vendor. Be sure to order only the quantity the customer wants. If you want to order additional copies of the book, place these on a new line on the PO. You will see an S in the order column indicating that this item is tied to a special order. You will also see the special order number. By default, the quantity here will match the special order quantity. Keep it that way. You will only see these indicators if a special order has been pulled into the PO, as mentioned before. Now that you've placed your order to the vendor, let's talk about how Booklog treats special orders. Special order and mail order quantities are handled separately from the rest of your inventory. For instance, Items on special order have their own on-order and on-hand values. These will keep your customer's items separate from the regular inventory, which is available to anybody. When a regular item is ordered, the quantity on order is displayed here. When a special order or mail order item is ordered, the quantity is displayed on the line below. When a regular item has been received, the quantity is reflected in quantity on hand. When a special order or mail order is received, the quantity is reflected in the quantity on SOMO hold. You can view detailed information about special orders on the item level by clicking on the Special Orders Mail Order Hold tab. You will see the status of a special order change throughout its life cycle. 
from the time the customer places the order to the PO with the vendor to receiving to the final sale. The status will be automatically updated at each step of the order's journey. There is no need to adjust the status manually, aside from some specific circumstances which will be covered later. Enter the customer's name and their special orders will automatically pop up. When you receive a special order item via PO or Receiving Wizard, Booklog will automatically update the status of the item and give you a chance to notify the customer that the item has arrived. When you're receiving by a PO, the special order flags will remain in place. When receiving by invoice or packing list, Booklog will notify you that an item is a special order when you scan it. When you finish a receiving session with a special order item, you'll be prompted to notify customers that their items are in. Finish your receiving session like normal. You can only notify the customer if you have the customer's email address and have configured your SMTP settings. What do you do when you have unfulfilled special orders but you have quantity on hand that could fill the order? Using the Allocate Stock to Orders feature will scan your inventory quantities for items that can fill your open orders and automatically move the quantities to special orders on hold. To access this feature, go to the Inventory menu and select Allocate Stock to Orders. There are a few things to consider when using the Allocate Stock to Orders feature. There are advanced options, but we'll discuss the most straightforward way to allocate your inventory to special order stock. In step one, simply click Special Order. Also click Special Order under the Include Pre-Orders step. In step three, you can decide if orders must be filled completely or can be filled partially. If the customer wants to pick up part of their order before the full order has been received, click Allow Partial Allocations. If you want to hold the special order until all items have been received, click Restrict Partial Allocation. The last option is to restrict partial allocation to items on finalized purchase orders. This option allows partial allocations for items that have not been placed on a PO. It requires full allocation for items that have been placed on a PO. For most people, the first option will work best. Once you've allocated the stock to orders, Booklog will give you a report of all changes to your inventory and the customers whose orders have been filled. Now that your special order items have been received, it's time to sell. Special orders must be sold through the cash register with the customer's name. If the customer's name is not attached to the sale, Booklog will sell the item from quantity on hand, not quantity on special order hold. Selling a special order through the register is very simple. Just enter the customer's name or ID and Booklog will prompt you with a list of their open special orders. Any received orders that are ready to be sold will appear in red. Just double click on the order item to pull it into the register. Booklog will deduct any deposit the customer has already paid from the total due. Finish the sale just like you would any other sale and plug in a total, even if the total is zero. If you sell the item incorrectly without the customer's name, Booklog will deduct from the wrong quantity 
and your quantity on hand will be incorrect. To correct this mistake, you will need to change the order's status from received to sold. Find the special order from the special order pick list and double click on it. From the drop down menu, change the item status from received to sold, then process the special order. Saving the special order closes it. Now you will delete the order by clicking on it and clicking the delete icon or pressing control delete on the keyboard. If the customer doesn't pick up the special order, you'll need to add it to your stock. Then the item can be sold or returned like any other item. To add the item to your stock, open up the special order from the special order pick list. Then change the status from received to stocked. Save the changes to the order and it will be set to closed. Now you can delete the closed order. If the customer left a deposit on the book, you will be prompted to refund the money. Plug the total into the On Account field in the payment screen. When you process the sale, credit for the deposit will be left in the customer's account. They can redeem this at any time. The customer's available credit is displayed in the cash register. So there you have it, folks. Thanks for joining us.